Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2012 romance comedy Korean movie, called All About My Wife. This movie is about a married couple who have been married for seven years. During the marriage, the husband feels that his wife is too talkative and controlling. The husband asks a man for help to seduce the wife, so the wife wants to divorce him. But the husband changes his mind when the wife starts falling in love with this man and vice versa. So, who will the wife choose? Will she fall for the man's seduction? Or will she keep loyal to her husband? Let's find it out. The movie starts with an ordinary woman named Yun Jung In, who is going to Japan to learn about cooking and the culinary world. She loves food and wants to explore new things. One day at a restaurant, there's an earthquake that makes everyone panic, including her. A lot of people are scattering out of the building. Yun runs frantically and hits a man named Hyun who is taking photos of some objects. Hyun sees her panicked face. He takes her to a safe place. After that accident, they are not only acquainted but also show their interest to each other. As a result, they fall in love and become lovers. They have been together for a long time, they spent a lot of time together, after all they have been through they decided to get married. Seven years later, Yun seems to be a different woman. She becomes a talkative woman and likes to manage unimportant things. Therefore, Hyun feels that he can no longer be with her. On the other hand, the company Hyun Work is looking for employees to oversee the construction in Pyeongchang for a year. Hyun sees this project as an opportunity to be free from his wife. Hyun quickly raises his hand but the boss chooses the other. He tells his co-workers about his household life. The co-worker gives some suggestions to divorce. But, everything doesn't go perfectly. Now, he tries to persuade his boss about Pyeongchang. With all his efforts, finally he succeeded. Hume goes to Pyeongchang happily, he will not see her for a year. Unfortunately, when he arrives at home, she is already there. He is very surprised and doesn't expect her to be here with him. What's even worse, the company is having a couple parties to welcome the employees. He is looking for various reasons not to bring her, but it is in vain. Yun comes to the party in a red dress, she looks stunning even though she had an accident the day before. Even so, it turns out that she has a problem with the wives and getting into an argument that makes the party ruined. Because of that, Yun angrily asks her to leave the party. On her way home, accidentally she meets a man who is trying to kill himself, Sung. She takes him to the police station. Yun arrives to pick her up. The police officer reminds Yun to keep his wife from Sung. But he ignores him. He is actually looking for Sung to tease his wife. Of course it's not that easy to get help from him. At first he refuses, but Hume keeps convincing until Sung accepts the offer. The offer has been accepted, they start to make plans. Sung suggests giving her a job. Hume asks a friend in the radio station to give Yun a job. They meet and now she is a radio announcer. Even though Sung is a playboy, he feels she is not easy to deal with. He asks Hyun to pay him more and send the details about her such as her favorite food, sports, preferred sex positions, the books she reads, and the movies that she often watches. Sung follows every detail that was given to him. To impress her he decorates his house according to Yun's pleasure. He also learns to cook. The next day, he pretends to throw away his limited edition plates to get her attention, and it works. She invites him to her house for a cup of tea. After one sip, he leaves her with the plates. She knows he forgot the plates, and wants to return it back. She goes to his house, knocks on the door but there is no answer. She pushes the door and it's open, so she enters without permission. When Yun enters the house she is amazed because of the ambience, every detail in that house is exactly her favorite. The next day, Sung picks up Yun at the radio station. It snows, he decides to take her to a cattle farm. At a cattle farm, they feed and squeeze cow's milk together. That situation makes Yun feel hot, her cheeks turn red. Since that day, she always makes time with him, and starts ignoring Hyun. Besides that, Yun's career keeps growing and gets so many listeners. Every day Sung picks her up at the radio station and takes her to some places. 
but today he takes her to the playground and plays a merry-go-round like a couple. At the same time, he notices Hyun's presence and tells her there's an important thing to do. He chases Hyun and asks the motives. Sung feels that Hyun doesn't trust him at all, so they fight. After that incident Hyun gets home, he sees Yun sitting and typing on her laptop. There is something different about her attitude which makes her more calm and sweet. Suddenly, she starts to dance in short pants, it makes Hyun turn on. They dance, laugh, and kiss on the couch. In the middle of it, the phone rings. Hyun begs not to answer the phone, but she picks up the phone and says there's a problem in the office. She leaves Hyun alone. The next day, Hyun and Yun eat with fellow broadcasters. One of them says that Yun will be transferred to national radio in Seoul. After hearing the information, Hyun starts to feel scared of losing her, so he becomes grumpy to cover up the feelings. Yun accepts the offer, she moves to Seoul and leaves Hyun in Pyeongchang. The next night, she comes back to Pyeongchang in her car and shows it to him. Unfortunately, he gets mad because she didn't ask for his approval when bought the car. She keeps silent and hands several bags filled with food to calm him down. She hugs him so tight. Suddenly, her phone rings. She lies and says it was from the company, even though the call is from Sung. They meet at a cafe, and they talk deeply about each other. The music makes them emotional. On the other hand, Hyun is feeling anxious waiting at home, because he knows that Yun goes out with Sung. He takes a bottle of beer to relieve the feelings but, instead he finds a letter. He reads and realizes that Yun really wants the baby. On their way home, Sung almost kisses Yun. Even she doesn't hesitate to say that they made love in her dream. Sung feels something is wrong and wants her to forget the dream. In front of the door, Sung hugs Yun tightly and confesses that he has fallen in love with her. She smiles and cries at the same time. Hyun watches it all, he feels jealous, so he speeds up his car when sees Sung walk out of his house. When he almost hits Sung, he hits the brakes quickly so the car stops right in front of Sung. Sung is very mad, but he doesn't care and keeps telling to stop doing what he asked before. Hyun notices and confesses that he is falling in love with Yun again. But, it's too late, Sung feels the same way, he falls in love with Yun and doesn't want to let her go. They hit each other. After that day, Sung never shows up. Days go by, Yun has a schedule to interview someone for a radio program. She doesn't know who she will meet until arrives at the penthouse. She is very shocked when sees that person is Sung. Yun tries to be professional during the interview. But Sung keeps telling the story about their relationship using sand painting. She is silent, then decides to stop the interview and goes back home. At home, Yun is just silent. Hyun really wants to tell the truth but doesn't know how. Yun cries and he starts telling the truth about what happened between him and Sung. It's very unreasonable for Yun, she's mad. They argue and yell at each other. While they argue, there is an earthquake. After last night's earthquake, Yun decides to resign from her job. Today is her last day as a radio announcer. The last person to criticize is her husband, Hyun. She also talks about divorce. Hyun listens to the broadcast, he is surprised and looks for Yun. He can't find Yun so he asks help from the police. Meanwhile, Yun is at the beach and sees Sung trying to kill himself. Luckily, she is able to save him. The police pick them up. When they arrive, Hyun is already waiting for her. But she doesn't talk, she only takes some stuff and leaves. At the beach, Sung and Hyun talk about Yun. Sung tells everything he knows about her. He deduces that Yun is lonely and he tries to understand. A month later, Yun and Hyun meet again in a court. They are really going to divorce. They sit and wait but while waiting, the officer announces that it will be continued after lunch, so they have to wait a little bit longer. He asks to have lunch first and she agrees. They go to the noodle shop, they sit opposite. Hyun starts the conversations, he tells how he misses Yun so much. She keeps silent and looks outside. Suddenly, her phone vibrates which makes her scared because she thought it was an earthquake. She immediately ducks under the table. Hyun laughs and tells her the earthquake is long gone. The incident reminds him of seven years ago when they first met. 
he says how lucky he is to meet this beautiful woman. Yun's face is blushing. Actually, Yun asked for divorce just wants to know about Hyun's feelings after he screwed up their marriage. But, when she sees his face and knows that he feels sorry. His eyes tell Yun everything that she wants to know. She finally realizes they are meant for each other. So, Yun gives a second chance and forgives Hyun. At the end of the movie, Hyun and Yun decide not to divorce and choose to be together again. What we can learn from their story is when you fall in love with someone you need to interact and communicate instead of being silent. By doing that, you can understand each other more which lead to a successful relationship. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.